What's up guys? Kentucky Beardsman here. So, welcome back again. I know I was going to do two videos yesterday, but eh, whatever. I got super busy. I've been building a bunch of shelves on the side that I'm going to be giving to some people and doing my normal life thing plus work. But welcome back. Thank you for watching this series. I hope you're enjoying it. Make sure and go and check out the playlist of all the other Nicholas Beardworks videos. It's, it's in its own playlist. Um, today we are not talking about an oil, but we are going to be talking about Nicholas Beard Orcs Butter. Comes in a two ounce tin and it will cost you $25. Which is actually a pretty damn good price for butter actually. Uh, butter is usually quite a bit more expensive than oil which is kind of backwards honestly if you just simply google how much oil costs compared to butter as far as weight or amount goes. So I don't know why a lot of companies overcharge for butter when it should be the other way around. Anyways, let's not get lost in the, into that. Again, Nicholas Beardworks is out of Illinois. The owner's name is Alex. He is probably my probably my closest, dearest friend in the beard community. We talk quite a bit. He's a really, really great guy. Um, he makes the best products. He takes a lot of pride in buying a higher quality product instead of buying a low quality product and marketing it as a high quality product and overcharging you. He does not do that. Um, yes, this is a business and he is going to make money on it. What's the point of having a business if you're not going to make money? But he is not increasing his uh, profit by two and three hundred percent. You feel me? Uh, there's a lot of companies that do that. They'll use things like um, Castor, Sweet Almond, Jojoba, you know, things of that nature exclusively and then charge you 25, 30 even sometimes dollars per ounce. Um, those oils just don't cost that much. The fragrances just don't cost that much. So you're getting, you know, marketed up two and 300%. That is insane. Sometimes more than that, honestly. Now, yes, he does every now and then use jojoba, sweet almond, or, you know, certain things, but he has so many other of these very expensive and high-end oils that, you know, that's the reason they cost more. Um, so keep an eye out for that when you're buying products. Look at, actually get online look at a bunch of different places that you can buy carrier oils in bulk and see how much they cost. I mean, these are really things that everyone always says, Nicholas Beard Works is expensive, but you'll pay $20 for something that costs $4 to make. I mean, a little bit of common sense. Anyways, Nicholas Beard Works Beard Butter. This is in the Gourmet Wild Cherry scent. This is the best scent on the planet, man. I swear this is a, such an amazing scent when it comes to a fruity scent. This is a bright, tart cherry. And I mean super bright, super tart, very uplifting style scent. And it has a back end of cologne. It's, it's, it's literally like a cherry cologne. It is stupid good. It is one of my favorite personal scents. Comes in a two ounce tan again for $25. I've went through about half of this one. It is a very white butter and it is very, 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 very smooth. It does melt very, very easy. Uh, the Gourmet Wild Cherry scent is one of his stronger scents. It is one of his more long lasting scents. Um, and in my opinion, it is one of his more popular scents. This scent will last you 12 plus hours, no problem. I'm talking no problem. Um, as far as scent strength, it's a solid 8.5, maybe a 9. Uh, people around you can smell it. It's not like um, like a legit cologne or perfume style of strength, but it is, you know, they can smell you f walking by you, that's for sure. Um, but it is a super long-lasting, very amazing scent. This is one of my favorite um, scents, period. Uh, the butter is good for daytime because it is a lighter oil. You can use it as night, you know, use it, use it at night and it does the exact same benefits. But I like this one during the daytime because I like a lighter butter during the daytime. Most of the times, anyways. You know what I'm saying. This is a lighter butter. It doesn't give you a very heavy feel like shea butter can sometimes. Um, it's got which we'll get into this, but it has mango butter in it and cocoa butter. And those are a little bit lighter, softer, kind of um, not as heavy butters when it comes to putting it in beard. So let's do a quick little overview of the ingredients of these butters, and then we'll kind of wrap things up. The next two videos, because this was supposed to be yesterday, I may go ahead and do another video today, and that'll be those really long ones that I posted about this morning, because they are going to be reviews 
slash this, like basically going over everything in detail, but it's also going to have a review because there are two brand new products that most of you may have may have not even heard of and some of you may not have been able to get your hands on it just yet because it hasn't arrived in the mail or whatever it may be. Um, so in other words, the next two reviews, which probably one will be this afternoon, the other one will be Monday, will be the Ivory Majestic and the Beard Guard, his two new blends. All right, let's dive in. Ingredients. First and foremost, we've got Cocum Butter, K-O-K-U-M. And yes, I am reading off notes that I've written down. I can't remember all this stuff. I am from Kentucky, remember? But we've got Cocum Butter. Cocum Butter helps with cell oxygenation, making, making nutrients um, more readily available for use by the skin, uh, which promotes hair growth, elasticity, and prevents helps prevent breakage. In other words, it softens up your hair and keeps it from being so brittle, is basically what it means by the elasticity and the breakage part of it. Uh, the cell oxygenation, um, it basically opens up things a little bit and lets your skin be able to absorb it better. That's my understanding of that. Next ingredient is cocoa butter, C-O-C-O-A. Um, this is good for, um, it's great for the hair. Uh, it helps with healing of the, uh, the skin, like minor irritations, things of that nature. It really soothes those down. Um, it has a ton of soft softening properties and um, obviously helps with hair growth. Uh, it feeds all those nutrients to your follicles and then in turn, happy follicles, happy beard, grows better, healthier, looks better, a little bit faster than normal. Um, and people may say, oh, well, beardles can't do that. Well, but biotin does. Castor is proven to help stimulate hair growth, make it grow faster. So yes, a healthy beard grows faster than a not non-healthy beard. So yes, beard oils technically are growth serums. They really, really are, but it's not like something that's going to be just dramatically crazy. Your beard is just going to grow healthier. It's going to grow a little bit thicker and a little bit faster than it would without these things. Next ingredient is mango butter. Mango butter is super high in vitamin A and vitamin E. We all know vitamin E is super, super good for our skin and beard hair. Uh, we'll get into that one here in just a minute. But the mango butter is a very deep moisturizing butter. This stuff works from the inside out instead of the outside in. It goes deep into your beard hairs and then it starts doing its conditioning, its strengthening, its softening. Um, what else does it do? Oh, prevent split ends, which is, you know, the softening and all that stuff. Next is argan oil. We all know what argan oil is. Argan oil has been used for centuries. Argan oil is... When you think of oils for, you know, your, any form of hair, you think of argan oil is one of them that you normally typically think of first. Argan oil is a great moisturizer. It uh, forms a protective layer around the hair, which keeps, you know, the sun from damaging your hair. It keeps dirt from being able to get clogged up all over your hair. Um, it's, even though it does form that film, I guess we'll call it that protection layer around your hair, it washes out pretty well. Um, argan oil also helps the, uh, prevent hair loss. And I'm not saying it stops hair loss. It, it just creates a great platform, a good healthy skin, a great healthy hair so it doesn't fall out as quickly. You know what I mean? Um, it also gives you a thicker and fuller appearance. It makes your beard look and feel thicker and healthier in general. Also creates a really nice sheen. Our next ingredient is jojoba oil. We all know what jojoba oil is. Jojoba oil is amazing for moisturizing. It strengthens your hair. It helps prevent um, hair loss as well because it is very, jojoba is one of the key oils for just about any beard oil, any good beard oil. Um, and it also thickens the beard hair itself. It, it, it healthies it up. Gives you a little bit thicker beard in appearance as well. Now, next is lanolin. Yeah, I think that's right. Lanolin. We see lanolin a lot in quite a few other butters as well. Lanolin is a little bit thicker of a butter slash oil, however you want to call it. It also puts a nice protective coating around because it is so thick. It helps with the lack or the loss of moisture to your beard. It locks in the water and helps prevent it from escaping. It, you know, it keeps all the moisture in your beard hair and on your skin. Uh, lanolin is 
just a really, really great moisturizer because it is so thick and absorbs a little bit slower than most butters or oils, however you want to call it. It is because it is thicker, but it does really lock that moisture in your beard and moisturizes your beard in return. Next is C Buckthorn Oil, S-E-A space B-U-C-K-T-H-O-R-N. This is high in essential fatty acids and also vitamin A. Essential fatty acids are really great for your circulatory system. Um, so it brings blood to the skin, you know, to every, everywhere in your face, which in turn makes your beard grow better. Just simply put, it helps it grow better. Um, and it's also great with conditioning. Um, our next ingredient is rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is actually pretty expensive. I didn't know that until I actually bought some myself. But rosehip oil is more of a skin nourishing style oil. It has a lot of vitamins and essential fatty acids as well. And then we have wheat germ oil, W-H-E-A-T space G-E-R-M. Wheat germ oil, uh, almost the exact same thing that the rosehip does. It just has a couple other little small things that aren't you know, super crazy different. So basically it does the skin nourishing, has all the vitamins and essential fatty acids, just not the exact same ones as the rose hips. Um, next is sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is high in magnesium, calcium, zinc. It reduces dryness, flakiness, and gives your hair a great texture. It also helps reduce hair loss. It has tons of, of omega-3 fatty acids. I am on the wrong one. Wait a minute. Nope. It does have the fatty acids, the zinc, vitamin E, and K. Um, nope, I'm sorry. Let me stop. My notes are too close together. Okay, sweet almond oil reduces dryness, flakiness, and gives you a great texture, and it also helps reduce hair loss. Next ingredient, sorry about that. Uh, I write so tiny if you guys even knew. Pumpkin, pumpkin seed oil. And pumpkin seed oil is one I actually did a lot of research on when I was going to do my own company, but I didn't because I had people telling me, you can't do this, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, pumpkin seed oil is high in omega-3 fatty acids. It has a lot of zinc, vitamin E, and K. Um, it's great for collagen uh, production. It um, gives your beard a thicker look, and it also helps increase the hair count. Got it right, finally. Coconut oil. Coconut oil slows hair loss by penetrating deep into the hair shaft to prevent prevent loss, uh, which in turn prevents breakage. Uh, it has a lot of moisture. Um, it helps remove buildup, which is kind of cool. Coconut oil is one of those other ones, kind of like argan oil. It really, really is one of those well-known hair uh, oils. Um, I would say olive, argan, and then coconut are probably your three main thought of oils when it comes to hair. Next is honestly one of my favorite oils. Um, I know it's the one of the most at least expensive oils. It is one of the least exotic oils, but this oil is known to do so much for the health of your beard. And it also is probably one of the best oils as far as letting your beard grow faster. And that is, that's right, you know it. Castor, that's right. Okay, so castor uh, helps strengthen, it helps growth, it uh, gives you tons of nourishment. It is a slower absorbing oil. It is a thick, very, very thick oil. You've got Jamaican black castor, you've got um, just plain castor, you've got, I believe there's a um, actual just black castor. And I think I actually saw a white castor one time. I don't, not 100% sure about that, but castor is a very, very thick oil. <clears throat> I'd use it in my hot oil treatments a lot. Uh, castor is really, really good for your skin. It's amazing for your hair. And a lot of people hate on castor, but that's usually when it's heavier in the blend. Uh, but I do like castor. Castor is amazing, especially when it's mixed in with other stuff that is really good for your beard. Um, next, we have vitamin E. Vitamin E is great for healthy skin. Um, it reduces what I write, it reduces stress in the skin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it helps preserve the lipid layer, which is the moisture, moisture layer of your skin, AKA the skin barrier. It is the, basically the top layer of your skin. It's what holds the moisture in. Uh, vitamin E is really good for that. Those are the ingredients. Sorry, I messed those up a little bit. I write so tiny and sometimes so sloppy. It's really, really hard to 
read it. So we've got cocoa butter, cocoa butter, mango, uh, mango butter, argan oil, jojoba oil, lanolin, sea buckthorn oil, rosehip oil, wheat germ oil, sweet almond oil, pumpkin seed oil, coconut, castor, um, and then of course your fragrance or essential oils, and then the vitamin E. That is a lot of amazing ingredients, guys. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know down below. This actually ended up being longer than yesterday's video somehow. Um, but also make sure and know tomorrow's video and Monday's videos are going to be long. Like this was a 15 minute just going over the ingredients and the price and the scent just a little bit. Or well, we're going to have a review plus that. So this is not for the weak of heart. This is for the guys that are true beard knowledge lovers, I guess we'll call it, who are truly beard nerds. Or guys that just like to listen to me ramble on and spit out facts, opinions, and my experience with this company. Besides that, guys, it is Saturday. I've got some beard shelves to continue working on, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Later, y'all.